some of the biggest risks of climate change to cities come from heat stress and flooding. So in the DARE project, we've been trying to improve forecasts of these types of high impact weather and flooding events using unconventional sources of data, things like CCTV, observations from private cars, air traffic control reports and so on, alongside scientific observing networks. And what we do is use those data in a data assimilation algorithm, which optimally combines the, all the data types with a model prediction to improve the model prediction. DARE is the result of an EPSRC fellowship in digital technology for living with environmental change. And EPSRC felt that there was an area of data science that could be used to help with um, environmental problems. And the idea of the fellowship was to try and bring two communities together from the data science side and from the environmental science side to, to really see if we could come up with some new solutions to environmental problems. So the new solutions that we've created in DARE have involved bringing together novel types of observations from crowdsourcing, so for example, CCTV, observations from cars, observations from air traffic control reports, and a range of other different observation types. You can use them alongside scientific observing networks and combine them with numerical weather prediction models and numerical flood prediction models to produce better forecasts. So one of the most exciting parts of the DEV project has been that we've been able to use our research um, in practical applications. So we worked with the Met Office to take observations from air traffic control reports and assess their quality. And now the Met Office are using them in their operational system, producing forecasts each hour, every day of the year. So as part of our funding from EPSRC, we were allowed to fund external collaborators in pilot projects. And one of those pilot projects was a virtual reality video that was called Inundation Street that showed people what it's like to be in a house as it's flooding and gave them some tips on how to protect themselves in their property. And that has been posted on YouTube and it's received nearly 2 million hits. Well, I'm really pleased that DARE is going to leave a legacy, both in terms of new scientific techniques and new mathematics in terms of understanding the uncertainty and quality of observations from these data sets of opportunity, crowdsourced observations and so on. But also from a more practical point of view, some of the things that we do that we've done in DARE are being pulled through. So the Met Office is using the observations from air traffic control reports. They are using some of our techniques for um, understanding observation uncertainty in general to improve the treatment of radar data observations in weather prediction over the UK. Our work with river cameras where we were trying to estimate water levels from the CCTV cameras near rivers is being adapted by a small business to see if we, they can develop a new product that will be useful for their customers.